Hi, this is Ali from the AGR studio, and today I'm going to share with you how you can create arched windows on a curved wall. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start by creating some walls. I would draw a five meter square and then just draw an arc on top of it and type 65 S. So we'd have 65 sides for the arc and then just erase this edge and offset this face for 20 centimeters and just delete the inner face and push pull this face up for three meters and select this face and make a copy of it and triple click and turn it into a group and paste that face in place and we would want to select this edge and use the vertex tool to just extrude it to over here and also a second time I would extrude it to this side and select this face turn it into a group and select these the top and the bottom edge for the connection between the two faces this face and this face and we would want to delete this face together with the edges so we have now three groups one that uh, we're going to draw on uh, a second group which is the connection between this face and also this face and a third group which would whatever we draw on this face would be transformed into this curved shape that we have over here so uh, let's start uh, by turning these three groups into a group and would go to extensions flowify and i would want to click on impose grid to just uh, impose the grids of this face on this face and we would want to create a face like this and we would want to create an arch on top of it and then just erase this edge and we would want to uh, click and make a copy of this face and then just push pull this face to over here and also on the back side and we would want to turn it into a group and right click and click on hide and then just paste that face in place and we would want to offset this face for five centimeters and we would want to make this face into a group and turn this face into another group and would go inside this group and just push pull this face for 15 centimeters and would want to move it in the green direction for 0 0.025 or two and a half centimeters and we would want to uh, move this face this would represent the window this would represent the frame and we also have this group which will cut the wall over here so uh, i want to go inside this group and make a copy of this face from this point to this point and we would want to type x14 or x15 and we would want to go inside the second group or this group of the frames and select everything and do the same thing and type x15 and we would want to hide this group and go inside this group and do the same thing over here type x15 and now we have three groups one is for the frames one is for the windows and one is for cutting the wall so I would unhide the object for cutting the wall and I would select it, select this group and just go to extensions, Floify and click on Floify. And I've assigned Alt plus F for the shortcut. And this would create this objects on this wall. And we would want to delete this group. We don't need it anymore. And we want to uh, just Floify the frames. I would select this group and this frames and just Floify the frames and also the windows. Okay, now we'd want to delete all these groups. We don't need them anymore. And we want to select this group and just click on subtract from the solid tools and click on the wall. And that's it. This is how easy it was to create arched windows on a curved wall. I would go inside this group, select everything, and then click on soft and smooth edges, and then just apply a gray glass material. 
and would want to go inside the frame, select everything, right click, soft and smooth edges, and would want to change the material to a gray color. And we would want to rotate everything 180 degrees and turn on the shadows. And this would be the result. So this is how easy it was to create this shape inside of SketchUp. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. Take care and I see you in the next one.